Oh, well, I should, but. <laughs> Holy buckets, that thing does haul. Look at that. Wow. So you're going five miles an hour. Into the headwind. Security, 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 muscle, American integrity, outbound, blue fears. Approximately 30 minutes, we're at racing point. Security, 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 muscle, American integrity, leaving the harbor, racing point right now. Uh, see by 63. On Duluth Aerial Bridge, American integrity. American integrity is Aerial Bridge, Cap, Channel 10. Channel 10. Good afternoon, Cap, Aerial Bridge. Good afternoon, we're just shy of cargo here, making our way. Roger that, Cap. I'll go ahead and start things up for you. Uh, as for visibility, it's uh, pretty nil going out to the uh, lake. I've got about a quarter mile. I uh, can just barely see the lighthouses. Good copy. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, anyway, you're short wheel. I'll let you guys know when I'm all the way up. Bridge back 16. Integrity back 16. American Integrity Area Left Bridge, all the way open, Cap. All the way open. Good copy. Thank you. Good afternoon, visitors. Right now we have the American Integrity departing through the Duluth Ship Canal. The American Integrity was built as the Lewis Wilson Foy in 1978 by the Bay Ship Building Company of Surgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 1,000 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 46 feet in depth. She is powered by four 3,500 horsepower, 20-cylinder General Motors diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower balanced stern thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The American Integrity has 37 hatches on her deck which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 56 by 11 feet in size and 5 tons in weight. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 78,900 tons. Above her deck just in front of the pilot house is a 250 foot self-unloading boom which allows her to load her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The American Integrity is owned and operated by the American Seamship Company of Williamsville, New York. The American Integrity has been owned by three different companies over the years. She sailed as the Lewis Wilson Foy under the Bethlehem Steel Corporation, the Oakville Bay Norton under the Oakville Bay Norton Company, and finally the American Integrity under the American Seamship Company. She has broken several cargo records during her career for iron ore pellets, which was about 75,000 tons in 2017, and limestone, which was about 53,000 tons in 1992. Today, she only hauls iron ore pellets in Western Coal. She's one of uh, 13,000 foot vessels that currently operate on the Great Lakes. Actually, that is uh, incorrect. She actually recently loaded uh, limestone uh, earlier this season elsewhere. Um, for a Michigan destination, so mostly just iron ore pellets and western coal. The American Seamship Company is one of the largest American fleets on the Great Lakes. The company has a long history going back to its founding in Buffalo, New York in 1907. They currently operate 6,000 foot vessels on the lakes. Once again, we have the American Integrity part through the Duluth Ship Canal. She was built in 1978. Measures 1,000 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 46 feet in depth. She has maximum carrying capacity of 78,900 tons. 
currently owned and operated by the American Steamship Company, Williamsville, New York. If you see any crew members on deck as they go by, make sure to give them a big wave and wish them a safe trip. Thank you. 